Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go over factors in R. And a factor is a character vector that can be used to hold categorical data. So let's say we have this character vector here that contains sizes. And the sizes we contain are small, medium, large, and then there's another small. So it's just a vector and uh, that contains small, medium, large, and it could go on for a hundred elements, a thousand elements. I only have four elements in here. Two smalls, one medium, and one large. Here's my vector, x. To make it a factor, you just put the factor function around it. So you just do this, factor x. And I'm going to put it into an object called sizes. And if I run this, if I put uh, class sizes here to see what the class is, and I run this code, highlight it, press Control Enter. You'll see down here, sizes is of the class factor. And that's what we're talking about in this video. So just so you know, there is a, a factor class out there. Um, to view the factor, just highlight this line and run it. And you'll see here, it, it prints out your, your character vector here, small, medium, large, small, right there, small, medium, large, small. And then it has this levels here. And the levels are the distinct elements in the character vector you pass in. So that's really what a factor is. It's the distinct categories of some character vector. And you, you, you're going to use it in R in many ways uh, to plot data and to you know, use it in regression models or things like that. But the main idea is you want to use some categorical data and you want to be able to plot that or, or use it in a regression. So the underlying structure of a factor is a numeric value. And if I run this line with this unclass function around the sizes factor, if I run that line, what this line does, unclass sizes, it shows you the numeric values of each element in in the factor. So the first, the number one uh, numeric value in the sizes factor is the third element. So one, two, three, one, two, three is large. Um, that's going to be the, the numeric value of large is going to be one. Now, why is it one here? It's because by default, when you just uh, run this factor function, the character vector you pass in is going to be sorted from alphab alphabetically from A to Z. And since L comes before M and it comes before S, you're going to have a 1 for large, a 2 for medium, and a 3 for small. Because by default, alphabetically, uh, the order is large, medium, small. And so you could see now that there's a numeric structure underlying each factor. And here, also this unclass calls this attributes function automatically. And it tells you, again, what the levels are. Because there's a levels attribute in this sizes object. So there you could see there's three levels, uh, large, medium, and small. You could even uh, use this function, and levels, and you could see how many levels there are. And I'll also run this function below it, this table function. When I run both of these, you'll notice n levels returns three. And that's correct because there's three uh, level. There's three levels, and you can think of a level as category. There's three categories, and then this table function puts them in a table. So this this table function says I have one large element, one large, one medium element, and two small. And it's exactly what uh, we passed in with our character vector. Remember, here's our character vector. We had one large, one medium, and two small. And then you can plot the factor, and you can see what is published. So if we plot this over here in the Plots tab, you're going to see this, where there's one large, one medium, and two small. Now, this, this plot is, is interesting, right? Uh, it shows you how you can plot a factor, but Usually you want to order your factors in a way that makes sense. So 
I'd like to see small first and then medium and then large because that sort of is how people think about sizes. Um, there is an ordered parameter in this factor function and it's kind of hard to understand what exactly this does. Um, we're talking about ordering small, medium, large and that would be ordering the levels and to do that we're gonna we're gonna do something in just a second we're gonna use this but I want to show you what this ordered parameter does because you might not it, you might think it's has something to do with ordering the levels and in, in reality it doesn't um, now we're gonna do the same thing we did up here you know here's our factor function we're passing in our character vector we have this ordered parameter now I want to show you what this thing does uh, if I run this now when I run it I'm gonna run all the code at once and what we have is here's our code that we ran you know ordered is true and now you could see there's this greater than less than operator which we didn't have before and that is what the ordered parameter does it creates the ability to make comparison between your categories and so you can see that we're using the ordered parameter because of this this uh, less than sign and it's saying that large is less than medium is less than small and you could see that because down here when you unclass it the numeric value of large is one which is less than medium because the numeric value of medium is two which is less than small because the numeric value of small is three and then you again we unclass it we see the levels and we see the table like we did before and then I added these two lines of code here um, sizes one that allows you to, to select the first element of of the of the uh, of the of the factor and that's going to be small uh, because the first element of the factor here is small right and then what the ordered parameter allows you to do is do this a comparison between two elements in your factor so is size one greater than size two what this is saying is is small greater than medium and because because by default the order of the, um, the I shouldn't say order I should say the per, the priority of of the I shouldn't say priority I should say the numeric value because by default the numeric value is assigned alphabetically um, this small has a numeric value of three like we saw this medium has a numeric value of two so when we do this it says what is the what is inside size is one well that's small which has a numeric value of three that is greater than medium which is the second entry which has a numeric value of two so you get true here and that's what the ordered does it it allows you to do comparisons like this which you'll use later on um, and and maybe we'll see that but you want to be aware of what this thing does it just allows comparison between um, between your elements in your in your factor and it does other stuff that you can probably get into or, or research online but it's it's good to know that it does this now if we plot our data we're gonna see the same thing we saw before here's plot number two large medium and small again this is not what we want we want to see small medium large so how do we do that uh, we do that by doing what we do right here in our third plot. In our third plot, we use the factor function again. We, we pass in a character vector x, and we use the levels parameter. So this levels parameter will allow us, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> this levels parameter will allow us to to um, order our 
order the levels. It has nothing to do with comparison. So when we run this code, notice what happens. Um, we we use the levels parameter to, do, to say, I want the levels to be in this order, small, medium, and large. And now that we do that, you can see when we unclass it, small has a, a numeric value of 1, whereas before it had a numeric value of 3. Since we passed in the order of small being 1, there's small 1, uh, medium is 2, there's the medium being 2, and there's large being 3. Large is 3 because we passed in the order, small, medium, large. And then it shows you the levels here. Notice they're in order now the order we want small medium and large notice when you use the table function they're in order as well small medium and large uh, notice when we do these two uh, these two actions you can reference the first element in your factor here's small but you cannot do sizes one greater than sizes two it returns na and a warning and it says uh, that greater than is not meaningful for factors. What it's really trying to say is because you didn't put the the ordered parameter here. So up here, remember, this ordered allowed us to do this comparison. But well, be, because we didn't have ordered equal to true, when it comes to this line, it causes an NA. So in order to do any comparison, you need to do ordered equal to true. Uh, when we plot this now, uh, you'll see the plot here. It's like we want. It says small, medium, and large. And that's really what we want. And finally, uh, I just want to show you, you can, you can use this ordered function to create an ordered vector uh, in the same exact way that you're doing here. Uh, actually, this line here, ordered x with your levels, is exactly the same as this line with ordered equal to true. So these two lines, this one here, line 26 and line 18, are exactly the same. I just wanted to show you that. The main difference that we saw is without this ordered, I can't do this line here. So if I, if I run this code now that we just ran, oops, now we can do this this uh, comparison here. Is size 1 greater than size 2? And the answer is false because small is less than medium, right? Uh, and, and if we run this code here, this ordered function just takes a character vector and you give it the levels and it, it creates a factor, just like this factor function does. They do the same thing. Uh, this one creates an ordered factor this one will create an ordered factor if you have ordered equal to true here. If you leave this out, it's unordered like we saw. But if I run this code down here, you can see I get the same output. Uh, let me just scroll up so you can see that I ran it. Here, I, just, I ran ordered x levels small, medium, large. It created an ordered factor, which has the comparisons. So now I can uh, you know, run the table and do all that stuff. And I can run the comparison here. And then the plot, plot number four, shows small, medium, large like I want. So in general, what do you need to take away from this video? There's a lot of things going on, like factors and ordering and levels. You want to know that when you're doing data analysis or statistics, you're going to use categorical data, like male and female, right? You want to be able to use those actual terms. So you want to make those a factor. That will allow you to plot it like we're doing here, or use it in a regression um, as, as categorical data. And a factor can be ordered or unordered. We know what it does when it's unordered, right? We can't do any comparison here. But this ordering, allowing us to do comparison, doesn't allow us to you know, list out the, the uh, order of the levels, right? So the order of the levels comes from either this function here, when you want to order your factor according to these levels, or it's going to come from this function here, the factor function, where you use this levels, this levels uh, parameter.
parameter here. So if you want to get output that is ordered, your levels want to be ordered like small, medium, large, or um, you know, extra small, small, medium, large, whatever. You want you want a semantical ordering with character data like we have here, small, medium, large. You want to use this levels parameter here in the factor function or the levels parameter here in the ordered function. That's it for this video. Um, factors, you'll get used to them. I know we just did a couple plots here, but you can see that the ability to use text data in a meaningful way and to be able to order it and stuff it's pretty interesting and it is not that hard uh, you're just using this factor function really uh, and if you're wondering should I use this ordered function or the factor function they do the exact same thing I would use the factor function because you're going to use that more probably so until the next video email me with questions uh, you could download all this code from the website thanks